Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be my experience at the card show in Dallas. I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so as you can tell, it's pretty jam-packed here in Allen, Texas. Um, this is a uh, kid in the candy store status right now, so I'm just gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you a few cases that grab my attention. Look at that Luau Cinda. Looking so beautiful. I don't have to do basketball. There's a few Wayne Gretzky rookie cards there. Floating heads, Pete Rose. Two Tom Brady rookies. Look at all these Mickeys. Brooks Robinson rookie. A couple of Roberto from Ooh. Willie Mays rookie, a few Lou Gehrig rookies. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Oh, whoa, Michael Jordan rookie. I want it. This is like from 1961. Oh, let me put my glasses on. Because they... Look at all these, these beauties, the but I'm trying to wheel and right. deal with this, no, this uh, vendor for this stuff. card right it's here. Called, uh, Let's see if I end up with it. Stars. Yeah, but he was uh, he was only 20 years old. I think it's 1961, I believe. No, they say 1960. Wow, another Jim Brown. They're just calling for me. Look at another Jordan. Ooh, Campanella, Duke Snyder. Look at this, Kareem. Oh, wait. Oh, look at this card. It's so beautiful. I'm giving one of those away. Joe DiMaggio play ball. Look at these Gaudis. Babe Ruth. Mm. Another Lou Gehrig. Mickey Cochran. Jimmy Fox hiding there. Cy Young. Tris Speaker, Christy Matthewson, Walter Johnson, Three Finger Brown, only for only for more Joe D's. First thing you do. I'm in heaven. I'm telling you, I'm in heaven. Vintage card price dot com. Sign up for it. To be in heaven, that's two. Ten bucks a month. Ooh, Willie Mays. Look at those. Yogi Berra. Campy, Willie Mays again. Come on, you get, do you have get, the Colfax rookie? Yeah, that right one's. Thing? How much is that one? I don't know. Let me look it up. Hey, I'm giving you Saturday night prices right now. No, no, I'm gonna come back tomorrow okay, with right. some wheeling and dealing money. Right. But uh, you got a few here that are, that's on my list. I got that, the Colfax at 3,200. I could do a little better. Depending on what we're gonna yeah, package, we'll package in here, we gotta right. we gotta get that. Yeah, we'll get a package going. Here's Bob trying to wheel and deal with Bob some for some of these vintage cards. He's a nice guy. He has two cards in particular. I'm looking at that right there, Sandy Koufax, and uh, well, actually two others. Look at that yeah, Brooks yeah. Robinson. Yeah. Willie Mays. Yeah. Roberto. Duke. This Frank Robinson I'm trying to win and deal for. This Ted Williams I'm trying to win and deal for. Look at Hank Aaron. I have that one. Campanella. Whoa. Look at 
that beauty. Oh, he has so many beautiful cards. Oh, look at that, yes. Look at his tent. All right, so I'm back from day one. I'm going back out Sunday, but I wet my whistle with this one. Not as big a haul. I only went to um, shop with 300 bucks in my pockets, knowing that I only had a few hours after work to go um, warm up to the idea. But it was a kind of a mistake, a catch-22, but it is what it is. Here's a few cards I picked up. I collect boxing for all you, all, all you guys that don't know. Maybe I'll showcase some of my boxing cards. Here's Max Schmeling. It's a very beautiful, clean card of his. He had it listed at $20. Um, obviously, it's not what I purchased it for, but after I uh, pulled it out of here, I actually was a little impressed with this card because it's actually quite clean. This is the only back corner it has. But other than that, this is a very nice card. I think I did well with this card. Um, I will probably do a video with uh, my boxing cards if you guys are interested. I have of all eras. Um, and uh, yeah, I was a big boxing fanatic uh, growing up. I actually even trained in boxing for a little while. My trainer wanted to train me to do the golden gloves. But um, yeah, I kind of liked my face a little too much to have it bashed in. Here's uh, Max Bear. This one he had listed at 30. I think all in all, we settled at like 15 for each one, which is pretty much on par as if I was to buy it on eBay, except uh, I didn't have to pay the shipping and handling and taxes and all that. But yeah, I think on eBay, you could get these at like 12-ish around there, maybe eight on the best days, but not as good a shape as these, maybe a little bit more rounded. So I think I did well with these two. And then that was just one dealer. He had a lot of nice vintage stuff, but he was a little bit overpriced. So this is the only thing I could see myself purchasing from him without feeling hosed. I did come upon this Dwight Gooden because I wanted to make it a point to add a really nice Dwight Gooden rookie card. And this one with the black border is so hard to find very clean. And this one, I was very happy with the centering how clean it looked. It's probably gray worthy material. I think that one was like $4, which is probably what I would hope to pay on eBay for after shipping and handling and whatnot. Here's another card I really wanted to add to my collection, Justin Verlander. And this one centering, um, corners, everything. The guy did not want to budge from 20, but I think this is pretty much what I, I would hope to pay. Um, 20 bucks for this card. And um, the fact that I was able to inspect it, and really I think this is about a no less than a nine. So I was really happy with this card. And then the next two are two that I was really happy to add because I've, I've had these on my list for so long. Barry Sanders, my favorite running back ever. I sold off his rookie card when I was younger for insurance, and I finally added him back to the PC. I ended up with this one for 20, which is, uh, I would have paid 25 if they would have been stubborn. I honestly 
think 25 was more than fair for how clean this card was. Corners are so sharp. I think this is also another candidate that might get a, a 9 only because of the centering. I think it'll, it won't get a gem mint, but um, I think this is definitely a 9. And uh, yeah, you see a uh, nine, well, raw cards that look like they'll fetch a nine going for 35 to 50 bucks. So I was really happy with that one for 20. And as you saw, my boy Bob over there, he hooked me up with this one. I wanted to add a Frank Robinson to my collection because this is the first official Frank Robinson. And boy, did I land the big kahuna right here because this is rookie card. I... Uh, Really, I'm happy with this one. I think it'll grade anywhere from a four to a five. Let me take it out of here. He actually had it reasonably priced at 150 because I think this is pretty much what you could hope to pay on eBay. Anywhere from 100 to 150, but based on the centering, this one's fair. Like it's not spot on dead center, but it's good enough. And as you could tell, the corners look very good, which is why I think it'll fetch anywhere from a four to a five. It has a little bit of snowing here, like those four dots here and right there. But other than that, it's a very beautiful card. Um, if it didn't have this right here, the snowing, I would have given it a five, but I'm happy with this one. Honestly, I think he's, we settled at about 125 for this one. And, he, and I'm telling you, I think I would have in the 150 if he would have been really stubborn about it because i really like the card but 125 sold so this was my first day and now let's go on to day two which is sunday so i'm looking at these bob fellers i want to add a bob fella to my pc i don't have one and he has two that are staring me in the face right here This guy has a lot of nice raw cards. Look at that Pee Wee Reese. Some nice 53s. But this Pee Wee Reese. What's up, Richard? How you doing, buddy? Good, man. Good to see you. Pretty. Yeah, good. How are you? Oh, there goes a call. Yusremski. I like that one. Wow, look at those yeah. Mike Trouts. It's a good price on an eight. It is. I'm fair, you know. It's nice to hear, I like that. Wow, look at this one. Mickey Mantle, Ken Griffey Jr. Signed card. Look at these signatures. Satchel Page, Jackie Robinson, Ty Cobb, Cy Young. Honus Wagner, wow, you cannot top this. Home run Frank Baker. All right, so it's day two Sunday and I did a lot better. I went with a little bit more budget. Um, and to be quite honest, a lot of the vendors that were there Saturday left town because they had to be back home by Sunday. And I missed out on a few vendors that I had pinpointed I wanted to go back for, namely for Carl Yurzwemski rookie card, uh, Sandy Koufax, there was a Ted Williams I missed out on. So I was a little disappointed that I missed out on a few vendors, but it allowed me to, you know, focus on other things which I didn't set my mind on. And I was pre pleasantly surprised at what I came back with. So this is my haul. Got about i don't know 40 50 cards here these cards were the cheapest out the bunch for a buck joe morgan a very nice card and a big poppy rookie card 
I don't have a Big Poppy rookie card, so it's high time I added this guy because he was such a force in baseball. Unfortunately, he's sharing it with two others, but I'm happy that I finally got it for a dollar. Can't complain. And then these were roughly around five bucks, maybe, you know, after I worked with them. These were different vendors. I think I bought this from a vendor for like 12 bucks, which was not bad. Not, you know, this one's off center, but it's Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Nate Archibald, 72, 73 scoring leaders. It's a pretty cool card to add some of these vintage basketball to my uh, PC. I'm very happy. Is a uh, Rod Carew. So I think he had this one for five. Obviously the centering is a little rough, but other than that, it's very, very clean. And he worked with me with these two. I think they were at like 15. He gave it to me for like, I don't know if it was eight bucks or 12 bucks, something there. And I was like, all right, fine, I'll take it. And then this guy, I think he sold me this one for four. I don't know what it's worth, but it's John Morant. I actually like John Morant, so. I was happy to add this one. He had it for 10 and I swear, I think he gave it to me for like $4 or something. That's, that's the number that's ringing a bell there. So let me showcase this uh, card right here since it's, since it's vintage. You know I love my vintage cards. Next, I got Larry Bird, Larry Legend. These were, I think, five bucks each. I started rummaging through some, some of the bins because there's a one uh, vendor had nothing but, but vintage. Like, he appreciated vintage, and that was right up my alley. So I started going through all his bins. And he was a fun guy. Like, while I was rifling through his bins, we were just talking, and he was a comedian. And next thing you know, I see him haggling with people. And it was just a joke to see this guy haggle with them. It was so fun just to stay there for an hour rifling through his bins because I, I was I, it was entertainment. I'm telling you, this guy was such a good sport from Oklahoma. He was so down to earth. But this, uh, yeah, five bucks for Larry Legend. Here's a nice Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Very nice, beautiful card. Oops. Almost dropped that one. It was a long day, folks. Practically six hours in that place today. Here's uh, Connie Hawkins. A very cool card. These I found, he had it in a bin. And they were $5 each. And I, I listen, I was hoping to find the uh, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, uh, Julia Serving, but I don't think he was that dumb enough to leave that in there. But it still had some names Daryl Dawkins. Here's Robert Parrish, Moses Alone. Moses Malone. Um, it's a very beautiful card. Gotta showcase this one. So I looked up on eBay and the going rate for these were like 10 bucks. So I was like half the price, gotta get it. Here's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with a sky hook. This one has the Iceman Julius Gervin. And these cards are clean, like the corners, all of them. Like this guy kept his cards in good shape. I had to give it to him. Look at this Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. Reminds me of the movie Airplane. When I look at that picture of him there. Moses Malone. Just beautiful cards. He had this in the $5 bin. Short print of Ian Happ. Which I had to do it because one. He busted out this year finally. Um, and if this is a hint of what's to come. I think this card is gonna be good uh i looked it up it was going for like 15 12 somewhere around there so definitely five bucks sold definitely happy with this here's a steve nash rookie card sold because i love steve nash one of the best point guards this guy was so dynamic mvp definitely and uh here's vladdy daddy it was high time i 
I added a Vladdy Daddy of like an upper deck or tops or Bowman or something because I have a pinnacle one. So yeah, time to add a better one of his. And then uh, Zion Williamson, my first official Zion Williamson rookie card. It's high time I ended up with this guy finally. This card was not five bucks. I think the Zion was 10. This one was 25. Pistol Pete Maravich. And this card is probably like an eight. I'm telling you, this card is so clean. The centering is 50-50 all the way around. This card, I tried to get it at 20 and this guy was, he was like, nope. He was like, keep talking and I'm gonna get it graded. <laughs> I was like, all right, all right, put it, put it to the side. I want this one. <laughs> Uh, we were just having fun. This guy was so good. His name was Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. I got his email. I'm going to shoot him an email. He has a list of cards I'm looking for, and uh, he's going to shoot me an email if he finds them, and we're going to wheel and deal in the future. But Glenn, he's a good guy. So fun to see him haggling with other people also. He was, he was such a good sport. Chase Claypool. I like him as a receiver. He's like on every one of my fantasy league rosters, so I put him in there. Patrick Mahomes, second year. I don't have his rookie, but I'll take a close second with his second year. Look at this one, Rick Barry, five bucks. How can you go wrong with this one? Five bucks for two clean Jordan cards. These cards are so hard to find clean, these are clean, clean, clean. This one has great centering. This will probably be like a 9.5 to a 10. This one, the centering is off. But I will never say no to Jordans at that price. Tracy McGrady, T-Mac, love T-Mac. This is his rookie card. Look at this Fred McGriff. I always wanted this card. I have his Fleer, but this is the one I wanted. This and the Conseco would would have been a card I would have loved to have found, but got the McGriff. And then this is a good story because he sold. He he had a binder, the whole set, including um, a slab Jordan, which was a grade eight. So all of these cards in the binder are basically grade eights. If that Jordan came out of grade eight. And he sold it to someone. He broke up the set for, I think, 4800 I think he told me, which was a good deal. He told me that he regretted it after he thought about it because it was probably worth a little bit higher than that. And then um, when he parted with them, I basically said, all right, since you broke the set, does that mean you could part out the, the set now? And then he looked at me. He was like, go ahead, whatever. Pick and choose whatever you want. <laughs> He says, but I'm keeping the stickers because I'm going to grade the stickers. I was like, rats, because I really wanted that Jordan sticker. But I was happy to end up with these. I cherry picked them and he, we worked out a deal. Julius Irving. As you could tell, these cards are clean, clean, clean. The only thing is centering like this one's top to bottom, the centering. But there were a few that were like spot on. I don't remember exactly what he charged me for each one, but if I took it, it's because I thought it was reasonable. There were others like a Spud Webb. He wanted a hundred for it. And I was like, I'm not in love with Spud Webb. So you can keep that one. But look at his Ewing. Just other than the centering, it's like just clean, clean. If I send it off to get graded, I think they'll all grade an eight or a nine. Look at his Bernard King. This one is one of the better centered ones. Chris Mullen, definitely got to get Chris Mullen. This one's definitely off right to left. Look at magic. Woo! Fire. This is gorgeous. This one's probably spot on centering. I love this one. This is, oh my gosh. So beautiful. Larry Legend, this one's off. This one has a little chip right there, but, um, can't win them with all of them. Look at Dominique, beauty. Yeah, so these, this one, I think he did 25 for Larry Bird. I remember that one. I think he gave me this one for like 15. I think the most expensive one out of these, I think was the Magic. 
Yeah, Magic and Irving were the two most expensive. I think they were 50 each for these two. And the, yeah. Yeah, I believe that's, uh, I think, yeah, I think this might have been 50 50. And then the rest of these were like 15 or 10. This one was 25. Yeah, so I did well with these. I am so happy with these. Look at this. I gotta, I gotta give these guys some, some shine. Finally added some big name basketball players from back in the days. Look at this. So beautiful to say I own these. Now my goal is gonna be to get um Barkley. I want to try to get um Jordan, of course. I can't believe I finally own these. So yeah, uh, that was my day, that was my haul. All in all, I think I'm a, a shade under 600 between both days, which was under budget because I told myself I'm not going over a grand. <laughs> but um, I was, I was willing, if it was worth it, I was willing to buy something. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, until the next one, I am doing the giveaway soon. So let's see. Uh, it's probably going to be either tomorrow or Tuesday. I want to probably give another day of grace period in case someone tells me, oh, I forgot. Let me just put something up. But yeah, until the next one, happy hunting when it comes to cards. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and three months later, I'm going to do it again because they're going to do one every three months. So have a good one.